Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. I love being in Wyoming. Wyoming is free America. You can live free or die. Uh, you don't have to get a permission slip from the government to carry a gun, all that good stuff. There is one downside. Well, it's kind of a 50-50, a it's a double-edged sword, the wind. The wind is always blowing or it's blowing most of the time. Now, right now, the wind is blowing outside and if I tried to film a video, all you guys would hear would be wind. What I want to talk about today is I want to talk about transitioning to red dot sights. If you've never had a, a gun with a red dot sight on it, or even if you have, you might find something a little bit interesting with this. This is the Canik TP9 SF Elite Combat. I know there's a lot of words there. The Elite Combat. And what I have on here is an RMR, a Trijicon RMR optic. You guys should be all familiar with these. Uh, really super rhino tough uh, optic, rhino tough gun. Let me tell you what, what's stuffed in this magazine right here, I have jacketed hollow point from like six different manufacturers. I have the steel cased ammo. I have the aluminum cased ammo, brass cased ammo. These guns will consume and fire every piece of nine millimeter ammo you put in them. Let's talk about red dot sights. Some people have said, well, I'm slower with a red dot or I'm not as fast with a red dot as I am with a regular handgun or regular sights. I get that. It takes your mind and takes your body, it takes your eyes a little bit of time to start working with or get comfortable with a red dot. One of the things or one of the problems that people will have with a red dot optic is if they have that bright red dot, it's out there in front of their eyes, they hold it out and the dot seems to be moving around a little bit. And they try, they take a deep breath and they try and hold super, super, super still to try and get that red dot to not move at all. Here's the deal. You're a living human being. There's always a little bit of motion in your body. Now you can minimize that with breathing techniques and so forth, but the fact is, especially if you're standing up holding a handgun, there's always a little bit of motion. Now you never notice that before with standard sights because it's not that big of a deal. But with a laser or a red dot, you push that out and it seems like it's moving. That's okay. It's okay that that red dot is moving just a little bit. You'll get used to it. What you need to do is you need to master your trigger press. And this is a fantastic opportunity with a red dot sight for all of you guys to learn how to master your trigger press. Press the trigger without disturbing the gun. So when I go out, and I'm gonna do it in just a second here, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna shoot at a piece of steel, I'm not going to try and go fast. If you're transitioning to a red dot, if this is the first time you're using a red dot sight, don't worry about trying to shoot fast. Work on your trigger press. Put that dot on the target and work on pressing that trigger deliberately and purposefully and then again and again and again and resetting and so forth and eventually you'll be able to you'll be like Max Michelle you'll be going super fast but at the very beginning I don't want you to try and go fast I want you to work on that trigger press and make sure that you're pressing that trigger as the dot is in the center of the target and if you do that I bet you after a while you're like wow that wasn't that bad at all Another thing you're going to need to practice with, especially if you're going to carry one of these as a duty gun or as a self-defense gun with a red dot, you're going to have to practice coming from the holster, finding the red dot, getting it up in front of your face. It's going to be a little different. Does it work well with time? Yes, it does. It's just going to take practice and it's just going to take time. 